Yeah, not too many people are going to like this video. So there seems to be a certain level of amazement when it comes to drone shots, and to be brutally honest, I think it's grossly disproportionate to what the aerial footage actually brings to the video as a whole. I can completely understand the excitement of getting a new drone and having the expectation that wow my video's production value is gonna go up tenfold because of all these cool new aerial shots. When I first started out doing real estate videos and I was sending cold emails and cold Instagram DMs just offering my services, I would get asked if I offered drone footage. At the time I had to say no because I didn't have a drone yet. And interestingly, this was a deal breaker for the majority of real estate agents. What's even more interesting is when I researched the market that they were selling in, almost none of the properties were worthy of having drone footage. And from a creative standpoint, what I mean by that is that the aerial shots they did have did nothing to highlight the selling features of their listings. The house was in a small, basic looking neighborhood. There was no especially scenic view. And all you saw from the drone shots was how not special the home was because it looked so insignificant from above. It just lined up nicely with all the other properties on the block, so it really didn't stand out. I would actually suggest against using drone footage for most of the projects that I film, simply because I don't believe the project is big enough and drone footage might look out of place. However, I do charge extra for drone footage, so... Drone work isn't just misplaced in real estate videos. Videos with a story or message often place heavy emphasis on drone footage, and it could get boring real quick. No matter how beautiful the shot is, how majestic, how breathtaking, too much of a good thing is still too much. Here's what Casey Neistat had to say about proper use of drone footage. No one gives a shit about your stupid time lapses, your stupid drone shots. That's something I have to remind myself on a daily basis. That kind of cinematography only works if it's serving a greater purpose. And for me, it serves two purposes. One is transitional. So you'll notice sometimes like I'm outside wrapping up a scene where I'm doing something on my skateboard. The next scene I'm in my studio doing something completely different. And in between there might be a, a beautiful drone shot of the city or might be a beautiful time lapse of the city. I'm using it to get me from one scene or one aspect of the story to the next. As that, it's an incredibly effective tool. The other place where it works is to show the audience a broader sort of, a broader image of where you are and what's taking place in time. Drones in particular are great for that. Using these same principles, I use drone footage in my most recent wedding edit. I transitioned from one scene to the next one using drone stock footage of Montego Bay. And yes, drone stock footage. Wasn't even my drone, and I used it in a wedding video. Goes to show how much you don't need a drone for big projects. Now having said all that, of course, drones are extremely useful at capturing breathtaking imagery, as long as the imagery is in fact breathtaking. With regard to real estate videos, smaller, basic looking neighborhoods don't really need drone footage unless the intention is to establish the layout of that neighborhood. Otherwise, I would save drone work for very scenic views or if the property has a very impressive lot. And as you already heard from Casey Neistat, drones are amazing for establishing location and creating transitions, so long as it's done tastefully and not overused. So what do you guys think? Am I wrong in this? Are drones worth the hype that they're given? Is including drone footage in every project worth it? How do you guys use drone footage? I'd love to hear it. Comment below. Let me know. This is Kevin Mendoza. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.